All right, guys. I didn't even know there was a part three to the live streams that I've been doing the past couple of days until this morning when all of this information came through. And honestly, the live stream that I did yesterday, I wanted to freaking delete it. I got off and I'm like, why am I even, why did I even talk about stuff? Why am I even, why did I even live stream? I'm like, I don't even know where I spoke about that stuff. Like I literally wanted to delete it. And I even said to Tamara on my team, I was like, I need to delete this. Like, and I was like, but I don't know why, but I'm not going to, but I just wanted to delete it. Like, it was so weird, right? And then I was just like, hey, Hannah, just process these feelings. Like, what is going on? Like, whatever, it's just freaking leave it up. Obviously, there's a reason. Like, I don't know, but I want to delete it. And luckily, I didn't delete it because all this information came through this morning about part three that I didn't even know I was doing a part three series of these live streams about what I've been talking about. So, I need to talk about what dropped in this morning and kind of like put all the pieces of the puzzle together. And I was like, oh my God, I found my purpose again. <laughs> but it is in a different way. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, I'm going to try because it was really, really interesting what dropped in. Let me share this and then I shall, as always, be present with you guys. So whilst you're waiting for me, um, let me know if this is your first time to my live stream because I'm doing a three-part series apparently. <laughs> this is number three. So there are two other videos if you haven't watched them. Um, you can go and watch them on my page after this live stream of course. Um, or um, you can just message me and I can send you the link for them. So I'm curious how you guys are feeling and if this is your first time to my live stream or where tell me where you are around the world right now and what's the weather like because it's starting to get a little bit warm here and I was going to do this live stream this afternoon and then it got really windy and I was like okay fine I'm not supposed to do it outside I'll do it later. I've been enjoying the warmth coming back because I'm not I don't do well with the cold at all <laughs> at all. And I know for some places around the world, it has been quite hot in the summertime. But it might be a last little spell of the hot, right? Okay. So, let me bring these comments up as always. My computer's been doing weird things. <laughs> I wonder if it's because of what I've been talking about. No, whatever's. Everything that I talk about and what I'm about to talk about and what I have been talking about, I don't want you to buy into it too much, right? Because even though I say all this stuff, I'm also like not buying into it too much, right? Because that's important. All right, let me just bring this up. I'm not sure why this is. I don't know why it's like half whatever's. Whatever's. Just leave it. No, it seems like it's crooked. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so over the past couple of days, I've been talking about, what have I even been talking about? I guess like the mind control stuff and like, I know that this stuff's been going on for a long time. I know that, you know, like I've been doing this work since 2005. Like I'm pretty savvy about what's going on in the world in a deep way. Some people see my live streams and they just think that I'm learning this stuff for the first time and I'm like, no. <laughs> It's just that right now I'm being shown on such a deep atomic level, like atomic molecular structure um, level, like deep. And I'm talking consciousness level. And all of this stuff, I'm like, it's no surprise that this has been dropping in so clearly and rapidly and all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together, like in the past couple of days because I'm starting the Shadow of the Archangels next week, which you guys can join. And it's basically each Archangel, right? Just like our chakras has a specific consciousness. You know how like when we do um, the chakra consciousness journey and we're in the chakra consciousness journey and every chakra has its own consciousness, right? And we're delving into the consciousness of that particular chakra. We start to understand it more. We're getting an understanding, like a, a vibe of it. We, it's so deep. Like I'm creating an entire course on each of the chakras, right? Like it's that deep. There's different layers and different depths that you can go in. You can get lost down the rabbit hole in a chakra consciousness, just like you can anything else on the world, right? In the world, any, any topic, any like 
thing you could literally go down the rabbit hole with, right? Let's be real. Now, with the archangels, they also hold a particular frequency. And each archangel, as you probably know, has a specific thing that it helps you with, right? So you can call on different archangels. So for example, Archangel Michael is like the protector. He is holds a, you know, a sword of truth. Um, you've probably seen um, images of him like that. And that sword of truth cuts away cords. It cuts away negativity. Um, it's a protector. Archangel Michael also helps light workers get on path. Now, say for example, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raphael is the healer archangel, right? And so he's all about healing. He can heal anything. You ask him to help heal his healing relationships, family, people, anything in the world, right? The planet, whatever. He's the healer, yeah? So each archangel holds a different purpose and holds a different frequency with that purpose, right? Now, what's really interesting to me that on, I got shown a video this morning and I shared it on my Telegram support group. So if you would like to see it, you can check that out there. Um, I shared it on Telegram because it's a bit of a censored topic, right? Um, it literally dived into, I want to say, put the piece of the puzzle together about what I've been feeling. And then about the last three live streams, last two live streams that I've done, right? I was just like, uh, here's all the missing pieces, right? I was just like, oh my God, I got a live stream about this. So we know as empaths that we need to keep our energy clear. We know that we feel everything. We feel the earthquakes. We feel the solar flares. We feel the neighbors next door. Like we feel, we feel the people on the other side of the world. Like we feel everything, right? Would you agree? Like as an empath, as an intuitive, as a sensitive person, you feel a lot. Do you guys get that? Like, do you feel a lot, right? And in that feeling a lot, we also feel um, like we feel these energy waves. And this is what we've been talking about the past couple of days, right? Been talking about the fact that these energy waves that come on and I've been tuning in like for months, like I'm like, it feels like they're turning the 5G up, right? At particular times. And there's several of us that feel it at particular times, right? And turning this 5G up, it's like, that's how I can describe it, okay? And we all know that being around devices, technology, 5G, whatever, it, it's not good for us long term, right? And so when we look at that, what was shown on the video that I shared in the Telegram group this morning was literally about the mind control, but literally about the, it's, it's in the DNA, right? And this is what's really interesting. So if they have your DNA, they basically have you on file and can control you. Now, my daughter got tested a little while ago because um, she flew to New Zealand to see her dad. And I didn't want that to happen because I, I guess I knew, but I didn't have confirmation. And honestly, when they took the test, I was like, that's a DNA swab. That's not fucking a COVID test. Like, I knew that. Like, I'm intuitive. I'm not stupid. I'm psychic, right? And, and so in that, I was like, that was a fucking DNA test. Like I just knew, right? And then seeing this video this morning that I popped on my Telegram channel, um, you know, again, I knew all this stuff, but it put all the pieces of the puzzle together. And I was like, ah, oh, it makes so much sense. And through the 5G waves, through the metals that we, um, you know, have in our body and our system, through all those pieces, it's like all, all of those conjunct together create, I guess, a field, a force field, shield, field, an antenna, if you may. And that is how they're able to control us. And literally, like on this video, it showed that it can control individuals. Now, I've heard that stuff and I kind of knew it. But seeing it like this, put all the pieces of the puzzle together. Now, why does this interest me? Why does this even, why is this even a thing? Why is this even important? Because I think when we watch things like that, we feel totally helpless. We feel totally powerless. We're like, yeah, I'm doing all this stuff. I'm going to like, we're going to be fine. And then we see something and we're like, how the fuck are we actually going to get out of this? And honestly, what dropped in this morning is just like these huge, huge revelations. So I'm curious if you guys watching have ever seen the movie Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. 
And I'm curious if you guys have ever seen The 100 on Netflix. Now, those two shows, like, I've been obsessed with Inception, like, years ago, right? I used to watch it inside out, and then I started learning all this stuff, and I was like, whoa, this makes Inception, like, I understand Inception now, why I've been obsessed with it even, right? And so, if you haven't seen Inception, Inception is a movie, and the long story short is basically they're planting a seed of thought deep in somebody's subconscious, so deep that it makes the person think that they, that thought was theirs. Now, that's a pretty huge concept, right? That somebody, like, that's the, that's the basis of it, right? And there's different layers of the subconscious. They call it the dream state, but it's really the subconscious of what I can see from the movie, right? Or feel, right? And so basically, they're planting a seed of thought into somebody's subconscious to make them think that, it was their original thought, right? And and like, it's like the, I wanna say the worst form of control ever, right? And then when we really look at that on a global scale about what we're being fed subconsciously, like all the time, you know, when you look like a, at a web page and there's like, you're trying to read this blog and there's like this ad here and ad here and all these like little things on the side, Do you know, your subconscious is just like absorbing that all the time. Like you guys get that, right? So, um, all right, so, the, I've just written my notes so I know what I'm saying here. So the piece to this that totally kind of blew my mind, made me feel like I've got passion and purpose again. And it's not that I had lost, lost it. Like I was just, I can, like I've been saying, I'm like in this huge recalibration, like something has been shifting. And I was like, in it, it's almost like it clicked into place this morning. So the piece with that is it feels like, um, so if you guys understand the human history and understand that, you know, the chakra system has been implanted like everything else to keep us trapped, to keep us blah, 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 blah. Now I heard this a while ago and I'm like, so what do I do now? And this is by being going on this big recalibration journey because I'm like, man, this is my heart and soul. This is what I do. And then it dropped in this morning. It was like, oh, that's why I'm so passionate about teaching the chakra consciousness. That's why I always say we change this from the inside out. I would rather be on the inside and doing it from the inside out than trying to fight my way in, right? And change it that way. And it was really kind of interesting because if any of you have like, if it's dawned on you from what I've been saying already, I'm like, ah, that's why I'm passionate about changing the world with the chakra consciousness. For example, that's why I'm passionate about people understanding the depth of consciousness in say like the throat chakra or the heart chakra all by itself, right? Because if the chakra system and the astral body has been implanted on this plane of existence to keep us trapped, to keep us in that. Now recently, and you guys might have heard me say, I keep asking, I'm like, who am I without my trauma? Who am I without my trauma? Who am I without my trauma? I'm like, who is everybody on this planet without their trauma? Like, like who is everybody? on this planet without their trauma-filled astral bodies. Like, hello, game changer. That changes the world, like huge, right? And so there's a process about coming in from where people are at, right? And taking them on the journey because when we can understand the chakra consciousness from the inside out, this is what I was saying in my blog this morning, we understand the truth. We understand what is real, what is not, what is us, what is not, right? But if we're just like, oh yeah, this is just all this thing, it's very hard to differentiate ourselves from the what what's what's ourself and what's not and what's truth and what's not and that's why a lot of people are confused because there's so much merging of all this stuff and not a differentiation or an understanding about what is actually going on energetically consciously collectively like all the pieces right and so when we really look at understanding and deciphering reality and understanding and deciphering energetics and what we're feeling as an empath right and you know that i always say start with chakra clearing start with clearing your energy if you do not clear your energy on a daily basis, you will not be able to progress forward. That's a pretty big freaking call, actually, right? And that's like, yeah, is that true? Ah, you guys know I'm always like, trust your intuition over what I say. 
But if we really look at like baby steps from someone who is completely unconscious to moving deep to releasing trauma, you must understand how to clear your energy. You must understand like there's steps, right? There's steps that go on the spiral that lead us to the deepest state, the most enlightened state, right? The the most healed state so that we can actually birth our purpose and come into this earth. Like there is steps, right? So it's really about number one, clearing your energy because you start to understand and differentiate. Is that mine? Is that hers? Is that somebody else? Who am I feeling? Like, right? And un unless we have that differentiation of energy understanding, everything else will stay a blur. Everything else will stay unconscious. Now, what's really interesting to me is that Archangel Michael, for example, his light and dark aspects, like his purpose is to help light workers awaken to their purpose, right? When we are journeying through next week, starting with Archangel Michael, well, his archetype, his purpose is consciousness. And it's kind of interesting that he's the most prominent archangel that most people know about, right? And so the dark side is the judgment, like it's judgment of consciousness. That is what we're integrating when we look at Archangel Michael. Now, if we really feel into the concept of judging consciousness, there's a big separation there, wouldn't you think? Like if we're judging anything, we're separate from it. And if we look at Archangel Michael as the most prominent Archangel that most people know, and we understand that the separation and divide that's happening on the planet right now is literally a judgment of each other. If we can integrate that, we come back to unity. We come back to wholeness. We come back to truth. We come back to a center in ourself. And with that whole piece around integrating judgment of the light side and judgment of the dark side and integrating so we can come into a higher level of consciousness. Let's see what Archangel Michael wants to share about this right now. So, um, okay, let's see. So the shadow integration for Archangel Michael is transformation of consciousness, which is everything that we've been talking about. When we look at mind control and we get sort of bogged down in like, oh, well, people can't, um, you know, like, what are we going to do about this? Like the mind control is so deep into the ethers of reality, right? And people do get feel hopeless about it and then they just block it out, right? But how we change that is the transformation of consciousness is, and this is what I'm always talking about, right? It's like how we shift the world as we transform it from the inside out. We, we, are, we enable, we, lo we know the truth and we enable the transformation to come forth because we know the truth. We stand in that truth of ourselves, right? Darkness and light are just as important as each other in the evolution of human consciousness. Like without where we're at now, we wouldn't be where we are, where we are now to be able to shift, transform and change, right? So let's see if there's anything else that wants to come through right now about Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael's purpose is to light up the consciousness of the world, like awakening the consciousness of humanity. Like he is one of the most prominent archangels, right? Um, even the darkness, right? There is no way. It says he keeps us seeing the light even in our darkest parts. Like we need consciousness to be able to see. We need consciousness to be able to to function, right? Like, and so when there's a judgment of consciousness, that's where the separation is. So when we bring it back together, we come back to wholeness. And when we understand wholeness, we understand what's truth and what's not, because without the separation of what's going on on the planet right now, we would not know the truth of where we stand and the truth of what's real or not without this separation. And so when we have this feeling of this separation of everything that's happening on the planet right now, when we pull it back, like we're able to find the truth and that truth disintegrates the rest because it's come into, we've, we've traveled into the dark and we've traveled into the light and we're able to integrate to come into the whole. And with that distinct balance, right? If we didn't know the dark and if we didn't know the light, we wouldn't know how to hold our truth right? A lot of leaders and a lot of people who are shining the light on the darkness right now, who are calling out all the bullshit, have usually gone into the dark and into the light in, in their journey. They've usually gone through something because it's woken them up to the truth to be able to stand in that ground. So when you're judging other people, 
who are still asleep and you're judging the sheeple and you're judging the sheep, which I fucking hate that terminology, right? You have to understand they haven't actually walked in the dark. They haven't actually walked in the light. They haven't walked that path that you have. But it's your duty and your responsibility to hold that that sort of truth, if you may, of the consciousness of the truth to allow them to go into the dark because they're going to come back. They will wake up, right? Some people think that people don't wake up, but they do. All right. So what's kind of interesting is like, you know, in the whole process, and it doesn't sound as exciting when I'm sharing this revelation as a bit like the other day, I'm like sharing my massive re revelation. I'm like, ah, oh. and it's like, oh, like I'm sharing it. I'm like, it doesn't seem that big now, right? But it's like, oh, I feel like I'm me again. I feel like I understand what I'm doing again. I feel like blah, 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 right? So um, for me to journey through the chakra consciousness allows people to wake up to the difference of what's them, what's not them, and to come into integrating that whole so it changes the entire frequency of it. It shifts that, who am I without my trauma? Who, who is the world without their trauma? Who is the world without this sheath of not knowing who they are? Like, that's a big deal, right? That's a big deal. So, um, to journey through the chakra consciousness allows us to be able to totally become awake to everything that they've implanted to be able to know the truth of sin and just go, no, that's not okay. It's not such a big revelation, <laughs> but it was for me this morning. <laughs> But if you want to watch that video, it is in my Telegram group um, that I shared um, this morning. And so you can watch that in there. If you've got any questions, obviously you can post in there. Um, I know this is like being pretty deep, what we're talking about as well. And I understand that the Shadow of the Archangels is a very deep journey of what we're about to travel through in consciousness. Um, so if you haven't listened to my conversation with the archangels or if you don't know much about the archangels and would like to get to know them more about how they can help you comment archangel below and i'll send you the conversation with the archangel that's a free audio that i did and it was literally the archangels channeling through me it goes for about two hours so it's pretty long but hey you can like do the dishes or hang the washing out whilst you're doing that of course yeah um, and so that, um, if you want to listen to that, that's free. Just comment archangels below and I can send you the link for that. If you haven't listened to that yet, um, let's have a look at Archangel Raphael. If we go into the shadow of Archangel Raphael, so the Archangel Raphael's, um, archetype is compassion, right? And in the dark side of Archangel Raphael is Aramanic, right? Is the neglect, is the dark side, is the neglect of self. It's the neglect of everything and everyone. That's when we can spiral down into that big dark abyss hole. Um, the light side is overindulgence. That's when we're like, like fly, I want to say flying in the addictions, right? But Archangel Raphael teaches us teaches us the ability to take care of ourselves and others with compassion, with that deep balance, right? So the shadow of the archangels is a deep, uh, is a deep journey. It's delving into the depths of consciousness that hasn't really been shared much on the planet yet. And with this conversation with the archangels, this will help you to get like, uh, I want to say, understand the archangels, get to know them like a best friend that you can call on them. Now, I always talk about calling in any archangel, any deity from the other side of 100% light. So Archangel Michael of 100% light, can you please help me, blah, 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 blah. Archangel Raphael of 100% light, can you please, blah, 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 blah. Like always add on the end of 100% light. That way you know that you're getting the truth. You know that you're getting a um, the being of 100% light. There are a lot of um, mimics in the... Um, in the spirit world that will pretend to be Archangel Michael because he is one of the very well-known archangels or very well-known guides. Um, so working with the archangels enables them, you know, working with the 100% light on the end of any deity that you call upon will make sure that you are 100% safe, protected and all those things. So 
Awesome. Yeah, so if you want to listen to that, comment Archangel below. Um, and Debbie said before as well, from the sunny coast, yeah, it's been so beautiful, but the nights have been cold. Yeah, they have been cool. It's like, is this the last cold snap before we go into our into our warmth of the sunny, sunny summer? So hi, Lisa, as well. I saw you before. All right, so that's like my grand revelation of my three-part series that I didn't know that was like coming into it. And even like yesterday when I got off, I was like, why did I talk about that? There's always a reason that I talk about it for some reasons that I don't know. And even like yesterday, I was like, why am I talking about that stuff? But it's so deep. It's so intricate. Um, but it's very, very like, I want to say if you understand it, it's definitely the solution to what's going on on the planet right now because we do feel helpless. But... There is always solutions. There's always ways. Even if you're not receiving that information straight away, it does drop in. It really does. If you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, the Life Purpose Accelerator, I've decided it closes next Friday. So closing the doors next Friday, no, Saturday, to the Life Purpose Accelerator. That is the one-on-one -on -one inner circle with me. Plus you get access to all my courses, trust your intuition, you get all the meditations I release, all the courses I release, everything that we do, plus obviously the deep one-on-one -on -one work with me for six months. So the link is in the title of this live stream or you can comment a life purpose below and I shall send you the link for that. I shall see you guys real soon, probably for some psychic readings soon. And if you're watching this and you'd like more information about anything that I've said on here, or you don't understand bits, or you would like to know more about delving into the deep, then just ask the questions below and I will come back to the live stream and answer them. I shall see you guys soon. Enjoy wherever you are. Keeping it real as always. Beautiful.